I got a lot of feedback on my video talking about IOTA going to zero. There were two points that people brought up that I want to address. One was I got a lot of, fuck you. And the other is uh, talking about some of my claims uh, questioning the partnerships. And I want to talk about these two, not just regarding IOTA, but I think they're important lessons in general. Okay, the first one is for any investment you make, you need to know the bull case, the positive story, and the negative case. What is the negative story? You need to know both sides. There should always be uncertainty and doubt in your, in your beliefs because you're predicting the future. This idea of no uncertainty and doubt, it's craziness, okay? So, and when it comes to this high level, complex crypto technology, unless you are a, you know, a, a tech genius, what I do is, I listen to experts who are proven experts on the topic. And if they are skeptical, I sort of, I follow them. I try to listen to them. So when it comes to IOTA, you know, when, when MIT Media Labs says that, you know, they, they have strong questions of, of regarding IOTA, you, you, know, you can't just say, fuck you. You can't just say, oh, well, they're just profiting. That's so silly. Okay, now, there was a lot of information on, uh, on IOTA regarding the MIT Media Labs, the back and forth, and you can read through it all. And you may des decide to believe that you, you like IOTA's side of the story. That's fine. I happen to respect uh, MIT Media Labs. I read what they had to say. And by the way, this the leaked emails that prove that IOTA... This, listen, I saw that PDF, 224 pages of uh, supposedly leaked emails. Was there anything new in there that hasn't already been reported? And the discussions are very lengthy. And for me, it's not just MIT Media Labs. You've got uh, Vitalik Buterin. I'll put the, I'll put the quotes, uh, I mean, these links under the video. Uh, Vitalik Buterin said, I don't see a rigorous, comprehensive security proof in the IOTA paper. I mean, so that's Vitalik saying there was, uh, and Vlad Zamfor had a tweet. Joyce Kim, for, uh, one of the founders of Stellar, she had something. Andreas Antonopoulos. These are good. some of the top leaders that I follow are very skeptical of the technology. Now, so for me, one big rule I have is follow the experts. But you can't just say, and, and, and I understand, I have Charlie Munger who I love, I follow. He's an expert I follow. He said, and I quote, Bitcoin is asinine. Meanwhile, I like Bitcoin. What do, you know, but I listen. So I can't just say, oh, fuck Charlie Munger. And I saw a lot of people under that video saying, nah, fuck him. Or he's just profiting from the old system. Yeah, maybe he's profiting from the old system, but that's, you can't just dismiss experts with a fuck you. So I have to, I, so I under, so I took some time to think about what Charlie Munger's saying and his points, and I have boldly decided that I disagree with Charlie Munger. As crazy as that may be, I have decided to do it. But it's not because I just said, fuck him now, I don't like him, unsubscribe. Come on, you can't do that. And so you can't just say, fuck you at all, or the, oh, uh, Vitalik, he's just, Pumping Ethereum's price. Come on. Really? And this whole thing about pumping. I appreciate the compliment to those of you who think that I can move billion dollar market prices with my stunky little YouTube channel. But I'm sorry, I can't. And I, and I can't make Ethereum go up because I say IOTA is bad. And, and I, don't, I don't know what's worse doing that or thinking you even can do that <laughs> or you watching and thinking listen it's it's just stupidness so listen uh, listen to experts you don't you can't you don't have to agree you know charlie munger's wrong he's been wrong sometimes that's okay and vitalik buterin has been and will be wrong mit media labs may be wrong but you have to respect the experts and at least process the information and not just say fuck you Okay, I never had so. Okay, now the other thing I wanted to talk about is um, the uh, the partnerships. I, I may have put my foot in my mouth uh, when I said I, I said something to the effect that Bosch is um, 
what do you call it? Uh, it's like pay is 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 being paid by iota or something. I don't. I didn't say that directly, but it sort of came off that way. What I mean is this. First of all, let me just say I think all of iota's partnerships are everybody's going into it with the best of intentions. These companies, Volkswagen, really believes that. The IOTA Tangle is going to be their solution. It's a great platform. I'm sure of that. But they're all just testing. And so what I believe is they'll test and it won't work. I remember, um, who was it? Was it Satoshi Pay? They were with Bitcoin. Then they were testing IOTA. They ended up going with Stellar. Okay. So they tested IOTA. They didn't like it. They moved on. Or it didn't work. That I believe that is what's going to happen. So for all these partnerships, they don't mean anything to me until somebody starts investing real money in building something on the platform. And regarding Bosch, so one of the things I listened to, you know, uh, IOTA's plan, and I listened to Dave Stone's stay boat talk for over an hour, and I've read some things. So one of the th points about IOTA is that it, they say, you know, works great, but if it's integrated with a computer chip, it's even better. And that's sort of their long-term vision. And so they're working with Bosch, who happens to make computer chips. Now, I'm not saying that Bosch isn't going to a meeting and saying, oh, let's pretend we like IOTA, you know, and then, and then, then they will make their chips. I don't think they, they probably looked at it and they thought, oh, this looks good. When I first looked at IOTA, I liked it, okay? I mean, it's possible that, that, that they're looking at it and they say, it's great. And oh, geez, not to mention, wouldn't it be cool to have one of these crypto platforms need computer chips, which we happen to make. This looks awesome. It's an incentive. Might give them a, a bias, um, right? But I, again, they're going into, into it with the best of intentions. But until I see something launch, uh, and I think it is important to be aware of Bosch's bias, right? They, they, they would hope that IOTA or something like it that needs a computer chip uh, will, will succeed because that's good for their business. And, and that, that, that's all I meant. Um, but, I, but I, you know, I, I don't think there's any shady business going on with that. And, and even IOTA itself, I don't think they're like, you know, they really believe in it and you can believe in it too. But when experts show grave concerns about it, you, you need to process that information and you can't just say, fuck you, unsubscribe, and you all better resubscribe to my channel. Thank you.